Okay, my friends, Roger once again with Fossil University. Fabian Boulier. I, I have mentioned him a few times about the light research, and i got to be honest with you, I forgot a lot of the stuff he did for us, and I want to mention, and I believe he did for us, because i, I got to be honest with you, I'm starting to lose track of who did what, when. I'm 72 years old, and I'm telling you right now, somebody better take over pretty soon. <laughs> now, um, this goes back, oh, three, I guess three, four years. Um, and Rod had been working with Fabian, you know, sort of working. Rod was helping him to see and use and filter the light and so forth and understand. He said he was mentoring or whatever that means. Now, and I said he's been really good. He's been sending me hundreds of pictures, maybe thousands. I did some myself, but uh, I thought I damaged my eye, so I stopped doing it. Um, now, then I wanted to expressed to him about the different aspects of light and, and, and it's, it relates to gravity, it relates to everything and it's a, the earth is an attractive, a positive, attractive source. It sucks all electrons to it and I, and, and I go through all of these different things, the, uh, the core and, and of it and um, all about gravity and how you can see things in an atomic bomb and you can see the layers. See these layers? As the electrons go, they vaporize the push to shove layers, which is basically the Schumann resonance frequencies. And um, then I go on here about, and I, this is where I forgot about the whole thing back on uh, 2018. And he has a whole batch of different curved prisms and stuff. So I sent him this today saying, I'd like to get back together with you. and Because I'm going to show you what he did. I don't know how he did it. But I don't know how Rod had, does such spectacular work either. I am just, I'm, I'm an atomic guy. And I ch realize what this demonstrates is electron flood theory. That there is nothing but electrons. So I... Um, I posted on his site today, on his page, that, and this is the thing he did for us, absolutely phenomenal. Just to show you how this works, I sent him a bunch of these pictures, and that's, uh, can you see, oh, yeah, that's light just passing through, and that's the particle right there, and the particle expands a wave in front of it, which is the magnetic region way ahead of it. That's why you have particle wave duality. That is accelerated. That's when it actually divides. And he, he so, shows this fabulously with these pictures. However he did it, he must have some special way. And, um, and then this is a particle nobody has any clue about. And um, this one is a spinning to the right, drifting to the left. It's expanded down here, compressed up here. It's either accelerating or slowing down, one or the other. So it, it does change speeds. It's not, and it's within the air, so that's outside of a vacuum. But within a vacuum, it may just keep going and never do anything. I'm not saying that's wrong, but there is no vacuum. Out, outer space is not a vacuum. That's why we get in redshift. If the particles come out, they're just slowing down. This, what do you think happens to the particles from the sun? We know light is light. We know that came from a red laser. That's a particle in anybody's world and it's it's got a dark and a light anyway I, I've gone through this so many times uh, what do we got over here this is what he did this is what fascinates me this is the particle it's going this way you see this one is glowier more than that one I wouldn't notice that in in looking at this I, I just, he he's showing the dark that one there doesn't have a ring completely around it like this one. This one is either concussing that into making a ring or it's the leading particle going this way so it is the most concussion which would make that push that way which would make it spin in this direction because they are spinning now but I think they're spinning this way it, it, this is so much to learn from this but he's given us some very very good insight and that's the particles right there that's the black ball and that's the shower and I showed the showers there's the showers there's the black ball and there's the showers exactly what they want and they came from that squared up particle there 
So he, and this is the squared up part. That's the, the white one turns into shower, the black one is the black one. This is electron flood theory. This changes the Bohr model and makes the core of every atom into a ball of electrons. A ball like that is the nucleus. The nucleus isn't one, a bunch of gigantic protons. It's a bunch of electrons, and every proton is a quantity of electrons, and it becomes stable every 1837 or so, 1838, right in there. And then there's isotopes. They're very close, but they're not exactly the same. So it's pretty well proven now. And um, Fabian, thank you so much, brother. And if you can, you know, I, I have... I, Hold on a second. I want to show you a couple other pictures. I don't know if you did these or not. Hold on a second, buddy. Okay, this is one I was wondering about if you had enhanced it, but I can see the brighter it is, the more concussion. So this is interacting stronger than that. That is going away f is going away from the concussion. That is the concussion. So that is the spin, basically. So this is spinning this way. I do see some going, you see so, some are coming this way and some are coming across, but all the ones that go that way are the brightest ones. So, which makes sense because it's coming over the top, spinning that way. The underneath ones are, are less concussive. Now there's another one that is so unbelievable, and I think you did this one too, I'm not sure, I really don't know. This one was fabulous. This is another Fabian one. It shows the red and the green at the same time coming through the Venturi. The green is so concussive that it displaces the red and takes over its region. The red would normally just sort of make a, a cone on its own, while the green has pushed it away because it's concussive. Then you get this little trailer looking thing where they sort of mix together and you don't have the extreme energy of the green, it appears. And then this shows the particles again, which we've seen a million times. Very, very nice work. Now, this is another one Fabian did. It, this is light coming at us. You see this one here and this one here? And the dark ones in the dark center? I'm not sure what to think, to be perfectly honest with you. There is, the, the dark is going to come back into it. But they almost have, um, I don't know whether they're a little pile of them together, because they don't mind being together. They can touch each other. These are okay doing that. The white balls, forget about it. They just don't want to touch each other whatsoever. The black, they're almost like they're hanging around together waiting for a bunch of white ones to come to, to grab into them. Because see the white ones, they will never touch each other. They will always push each other away. The black ones, you see them down there, yeah, don't seem to have any effect on them. Now, this is the one that blows me totally away. These are what they call Higgs fields. It's coming out of the Venturi, which is the crusher accelerator, and these are the white particles for a certain distance of time, and then they interact with the dark particles and recombine to make these turn back into light, really, is, is all it does. Now, where do you see this one? Now, this is exactly exactly what that would do, the light spinning, or actually spinning this way, coming at us. Now, follow these pathways around and around and around, just like a galaxy, around and around and around, and it crushes. The arms get bent backwards. Somehow this is spinning, and these you can actually see the two particles back to back in here and they get more energetic as they reach the center of the crush there's some crushing going on here and it seems to be a spinning crush exactly like happens in the galaxy now I don't know if Fabian did this one or not I, I just don't know this could have been just from somewhere else I don't know but this to me looks like the light particles and then there's going to be regions where the particles pushing against each other create hot spots within the matrix of the entire light coming through. So there's going to be some hot spots and then there's going to be the cores that are the real hot spots. I'll show you one. Okay, if you look at this closely, you can see these particles are coming at us. 
and the the center obviously is the is the is the bullet part. Now, you see something cool that happened here. This is all from a red laser, but that turned blue, and it crushed its between two other particles like these, just normal particles, but it was able to force it into its own new venturi of particle crush, and it forced this to squirt out another particle. Now it's going to co collapse back down to being flat, er, like this. Now what I think Fa or Fabian somebody did was got one of these in its flat configuration, and you can see the light spinning. You that's what these little particles are spinning. In my mind, and they're, that's what I'm seeing. Now, these are the discs I think that he was looking at. Now, this is, a, I believe, is an antiparticle, and that's, pff, I don't know what. I'd like to see what he could do with that, and what he could find within this. That would be fabulous. I think he'd have a field day with this. I think this is spinning this way, and that's why you get this energy and these are going away from us these are coming at us you see these and as they come through the venturi he's i don't know he must have the venturi right here i i wish that fabian would work with rod because i mean they between the two of them yikes and i believe this is because this is pulsed red laser so they pulse 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 this one's already pulsed and this one's coming behind it and through the venturi phew, that's what i believe and again, I would love to see these two guys because I'm telling you, they've got some really good stuff going on. And, you know, it proves my theory. That's all I'm interested in is the electron flood theory. Sure, you know, I mean, I, I want to see everything about it. But that's my main interest, let me put it that way. And I'd like to see them get their due. You know, everybody everybody wants to see everything, but, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. And I spent uh, literally years with Rod. Now, I, maybe Fabian's working with Rod. I don't know. But everything sort of collapsed as we got just destroyed by academia. They, they just shut me down from everything, pretty much, and I still am. So nobody sees much of what I do. And I'm hoping that'll change. That'd be nice. Because we do, I love to see these things. This is just fabulous stuff. Anyway, I love you, and if, if, if you don't want me to have this up, Fabian, I'll take it down, brother. Just um, comment in the comment section, and if you say don't, don't allow it, it ain't allowed. But you did a fabulous job, my friend, and I would love to see you do some more. Because th this replaces the Bohr theory. The Bohr theory is gone. Electron flood theory says there is nothing but electrons that exist, and it, all it is is this. Here's all physics is now 100 percent electrons no protons no neutrons it's just a ball of electrons that makes the nucleuses electron flood theory solves a hundred percent of all material interactions and in this chart instead of hydrogen being one proton one electron it's 1837 electrons and then one to trying to get in, but it won't be allowed, so it stays always trying to get into the center. That's what an electron looks like. It has the dark matter, which is gravity, and dark matter does nothing. It doesn't combust, it doesn't concuss, it doesn't emit, it doesn't absorb. All it does is <coughs> attract. And it grabs black ones and, and, and the white ones, doesn't matter. And a photon is just back-to-back -back electrons, which I showed you. And then when they hit, they concuss, they separate, the balls explode. But 1837 of them shake until they hit a certain number, and then they lock in, and, and they turn into what they call a hex. And it, it'll actually be basically like that, only hex, you know, and, and formed nicely, but in a hex ball. And then another's trying to get in, they say they want to get into the center, which is where the, all the dark ones will go. And they'll say, no, 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 you can't get in there because we're out here and we're going to hold you back. And, and I go through this quite deeply in, in the last video. But anyway, getting back to my friend Fabian, thank you, brother. And I, I'm sorry I really haven't included you a whole lot in this. I, I have, but I, I didn't even realize all of these fabulous other shots that you had taken. That was years ago, and uh, you know I'm getting old, man, and I'm losing some of this stuff. So I'm gonna have to jump on board. Otherwise, I, I'm finding stuff I did years ago. I guess it was, holy smokes, this is fabulous, and I never, I would never remember it again unless I just bumped into it. All right, I love you all.
Thank you, my friends.